Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. Simplifies Tutorials. In this tutorial we are going to look at the VIRO or the FIRO analysis also referred to as the VRIO uh, analysis. So any business seeks a competitive advantage in the marketplace that it operates in. Now for a firm to gain a competitive advantage it needs to look at external and internal factors and uh, we've already looked at pest analysis and the Porter's Fire Forces model in this channel and uh, we understand that these models can actually help in terms of understanding external factors and a FIRO analysis is a tool for a company to analyze its internal resources and capabilities to find out if they can be a source of competitive advantage. So by using FIRO analysis, organizations can determine their competitive potential. So their potential to be able to compete and uh, get an advantage in the marketplace. Okay. And what resources are we referring to here? So the resources that we are referring to here include assets, capabilities, organizational processes, information and knowledge, etc. Now, this framework is usually referred to as the VRIO framework, but I've li I like to refer to it as VIRO or FIRO as it's easier to remember it's th it, it this way. Now, in a VIRO analysis, we analyze resources in four aspects, value, imitability, rarity, and organizations. And this is what VIRO stands for value, imitability, rarity, and organization. Now, the first three aspects direct, uh, direct towards understanding if a resource is valuable, difficult to imitate, and rare. Okay, and the last aspect doesn't direct towards the resource, uh, but it actually directs towards looking at the company and understanding if it has the systems structures and processes to actually exploit the capability of the resource so if the company is it is it is basically to understand if the company is organized enough to actually exploit the competitive advantage gained out of the resource so the first three factors we understand if the resource is 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 valuable imitable, imitable easy to imitate or or rare and then in the last factor we actually try and understand if the company or the organization has the capability to actually utilize this now let's let's look at these aspects uh, individually and understand them the first aspect is value now this relates to if the resource is actually adding value by helping the company exploit opportunities and gain a competitive advantage a resource is also deemed valuable if it enhances the brand value for the customer and if a resource is considered valuable it needs to be reviewed on a timely basis to ensure that this value actually sustains and how do we actually find resources which are valuable one of the ways of finding valuable resources in the organization is to actually run a SWOT analysis and if a SWOT analysis hasn't given us the final answer then there are a couple of questions we can ask ourselves after a SWOT has been carried out. Now the questions are is the resource also valuable to the customers or the clients? Can the resource help us exploit an opportunity identified in the SWOT? Can the resource help minimize one or more of these identified threats? Now, based on these questions, we can find out if the, if the resource is valuable or not. Now, the next factor is imitability. Now, successful businesses always have resources which are hard or, or basically expensive to imitate. Now, people will always try to imitate successful products or services. That's not going to change. But if a resource is difficult to imitate for the competition, it automatically gives us a competitive advantage. So the question to ask here is simply to gauge if the resource in question is difficult or expensive to imitate or not. In certain cases, we can also question whether patenting our resource would actually solve or reduce the problem. But then if, if we have a patent, there is a less lesser likelihood of people uh, trying to imitate our product. 
okay and the next factor is rarity now this refers to how rare the resource is as simple as that so the question to ask ourselves here would be can our resource easily be procured by competitors in the present time or soon or somewhere in the future is there a demand for the resource as it's it's hard to acquire are there few people who currently also have the resource so these are the factors which can establish the rarity of the resource now we move on to the uh, the final factor in which we actually look at our organization our company and understand this factor which is organization it is equally important to actually understand if the company is capable of actually making full use of the resources identified as valuable difficult to imitate and rare now because otherwise uh, the whole exercise does become kind of pointless now the main question to ask here would be does the business have solid systems structures and processes to actually exploit the advantage provided by the resource now this can go on from understanding if the business has suitable business process management tools quality management capabilities and also very importantly the right people on board okay this is the, this this therefore becomes one of the most vital aspects of the analysis of the whole analysis it is not only important to derive competitive advantage but also to sustain it and this factor actually goes a long way in ensuring that the competitive advantage gained can be sustained okay now that was the 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 framework now let's summarize it by looking at it graphically now here we see the uh, the uh, the analysis aspects which are valuable hard to imitate rare and organized viro now we start off by understanding if the resource is valuable okay if the answer is yes we move on to the next factor if the answer is no we stand at a competitive disadvantage because the resource is not valuable enough for us to give a competitive advantage so there is a disadvantage now the next factor hard to imitate uh, if the factor is satisfied we move on to the next factor if it's not then there is a temporary competitive advantage that we can gain but that can be lost because people will start imitating our product now the next factor is rare and then if if the resource is rare then we move on to the next factor but if it's not then there basically is competitive equality because a lot of people will have the resource it's not rare enough so the competitive advantage that we can derive will be limited we will be equal to other people in the marketplace now we actually look at and try and answer the question about if the company if our company is actually organized and if it is organized and if all of the other factors stay then we do have a competitive advantage and if the company is not organized then there is a potential of us arriving at unutilized competitive advantage because there can be a competitive advantage but as a company we just aren't able to use it utilize it okay that is all uh, about that that's all the uh, the important things that we want to know about a viral analysis i hope that was useful for you i thank you very much for your attendance as always and as always please like this content support us subscribe to the channel if you're new here and uh, keep taking care of your own self and your family thank you bye bye